guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sitting down and I'm doing a full face of my number one product in every single makeup category. I asked you guys on my community tab a few weeks back for just some video ideas. I've been on a roll creating content and I just wanted to get some ideas from you guys to see what kind of videos and looks and all of that that you want me to do. And one of my friends, Duwani, she's the one who um, went ahead and suggested this video idea. So it's all my current number one favorite products in each makeup category. I will say I did see my friend Kelly do this a while back and it was a collaboration with Charlotte Holcroft. I think is her name. Um, so I will go ahead and leave Kelly's video linked down below because that is where I first kind of saw this video idea. And then again, I'm doing it based off my friend Dewani asking me and suggesting for me to do it. I don't think any of these are really going to come as much of a surprise. If you like regularly watch my videos, these are all products that I love that you've seen me use many, many times. So if I'm using my same old, same olds, that's because they're my same old, same olds. They're my go-tos. <laughs> Before we get started, don't forget to upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday for you guys, and recently a lot more than that. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help me out. And other than that, if you're excited and you want to see this look right here that I got with all of my current favorite number one beauty products in each category, then let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, starting off with my eyes, eyeshadow was a little hard for me to pick. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I have like a number one eyeshadow palette right now in my collection that I'm like obsessed with. Um, but the closest one is the Natasha Denona Love Palette. I am pretty obsessed with this. I just got it pretty fairly recently and um, I've kind of been using it nonstop, but kind of not because eyeshadow is like the one thing that I really do like to switch on and off pretty much every day if that makes sense. So we're going to use this today. We are going to start off with Valentine into my crease. This is a pretty light pink shade. I have to kind of build it up quite a bit, but I don't mind. I'd rather it be buildable than like intensely like pigmented right off the bat and then like being like, whoa, what do I do with all this pink shade? You know what I mean? So that's with one layer and that's with three. So yeah, you have to build it up. I did go ahead and prime my eyes with a MAC Paint Pot. As far as I'm concerned, this is like the only eye primer on earth. It's definitely my number one because it's literally the only eye primer I ever use. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go right next door and take this intense shade and just kind of deepen the crease a little bit. I think this is one of my favorite palettes because I just love pink eyeshadow. I don't know what it is about pink eyeshadow, but oh, I love it. Okay, I want to deepen the crease a tiny bit more, so I think I'm going to go into, oh, I don't know if I want to go into Soul or Heartbeat? Yeah, Heartbeat. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do Soul. Pack a little bit of that on the outer portion of my eye, as well as into the crease. Back in with Valentine to soften it all up and i'm gonna take my nyx glitter primer and put that on my inner half of my lid and i'm gonna take this really pretty transparent shade i didn't want the whole eyelid to be pink so we're going in with this it's like i don't know like a really pretty champagne-y almost goldy kind of shade that looks really pretty though Ooh, okay yeah i really like that i look a lot so as we're moving on to like complexion and all of that, I just want to like preface this by saying these are like my number one current in these categories like right now. I feel like my favorites in the items and products that I just go to over and over and over change fairly quickly because I am, you know, usually trying a bunch of new makeup and that kind of stuff. So these are just like my current number one favorite. So for primer, I am currently obsessed with the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer. This is just a really good primer. I don't know what it is. It's hydrating, but like still gives a little bit of attack once it sinks into your skin, but it's not like overly hydrating to where it's too dewy or oily or anything like that. I just feel like my makeup always, you know, turns out really well when I wear this primer. Then my current favorite foundation is actually like a combination of products and it is the Physicians Formula Butter Believe It Foundation and the Huda Beauty Glow Wish Multi Dew Skin Tint. These two combined, chef's kiss. I am obsessed with how it looks on my skin. The Physicians Formula Foundation is super full coverage and then the Glow Wish Skin Tint just gives such a beautiful glow to the skin. I'm mixing them on the back of my hand. Just such a beautiful glow to the skin. I just love this combination. 
If you don't like glowy skin though, this is a really nice and mattifying on its own. Not like mattifying to where it's drying and it's gonna like suck the life out of your skin. But if you, like I said, if you go prefer like a more matte formula or matte look on your face, just go with this by itself. These earrings, man, they're cute, but <laughs> they are hard to put makeup on around. For my current favorite concealer, I have two because I'm extra. <laughs> the first one is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have the shade Vanilla. I normally put this on before my foundation. I kind of messed up and uh, forgot to apply it, but this is the best for spot concealing. That's what everyone says and everyone is definitely right about it. And then for the concealer for under my eyes, it's not a new product at all in general or to me, it's actually quite the opposite. It's one that I'm almost done with. So I'm trying to finish it up. So I've just been using it like nonstop recently. And it's a Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. I have the shade 03 Fair. You've seen me use this a million times on my channel. I really, really do love this concealer a lot. It's full coverage, it wears well. It's a good shade for me. It's a little light with this foundation, but that's okay, I can make it work. But I'm almost done with it and as much as I don't really want it to be gone because it really is a good concealer, I want to like finish it up and like feel the accomplishment of finishing the concealer up, you know what I mean? Because it is so much lighter on my under eyes, I am going to add a little bit in my T-zone to just like brighten up and down here just to like brighten up the rest of my face and make it all like go together so I don't have like super bright under eyes. Then for powder to set my face, the one that I cannot stop reaching for is my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This is the second compact of this that I have been through. It's just a good, just go-to powder. It's nice and finely milled. It doesn't usually tend to make my face look dry. It sets it all in place nicely. It's just a good powder. Next up from bronzer. Can you guess what I'm gonna say? I bet you can. Shout out to her airbrush bronzer. This is her airbrush bronzer. Yeah, the matte bronzing filter for face and body. Oh, I never like read that full name. I have the shade two medium. It's just stunning. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. It looks so good on my skin. I've been wearing it nonstop. <laughs> I just feel like it gives my skin such a pretty like sun-kissed glow to it. Makes it look like I've been in the sun, but I haven't been. <laughs> I went a little ham with the bronzer, which like I always do, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my setting powder and just kind of like carve this out. Next up for highlight, you can probably guess this one too. It is my Nabla Skin Glazing Highlight in the shade Ozone. So good. I've literally been using this nonstop pretty much since I got it for Christmas. I got it from my sister-in-law for Christmas and oh my goodness. It is just so beautiful on the cheeks. Every time I use it, I'm like, yep, this is it. This is a good highlight. Forgot to contour my nose. I'm still using my Maybelline City bronzer and like the little tiny bit of compact left. Okay, I finish this, I will be so stinking happy. <laughs> Okay, now I can highlight the nose. Alrighty, next up for blush. Okay, blush is another hard one like eyeshadow where I don't really have like a specific go-to blush that I use all of the time because I really switch that up a lot with my different eye looks, if that makes sense. I really try to like have my blush go with my eye looks. So the one I chose was my M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow blush in the shade Faded Clementine. I really do love this blush. Oh my goodness, I cannot talk. I really do love this blush so much. I really do use it like nonstop, but I just, I don't think it would go with my eye look very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use my e.l.f. Um, Primer Infused Blush in the shade Always Cheeky instead, because it's just like this really beautiful, well, that looks like it's gonna be too corally pink too. I do love this blush too, but I'm not gonna use this one either. <laughs> okay, I'm like, I feel like I'm just like obsessed with my blush matching my eye look. So instead I'm gonna go ahead and use my Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in the shade Mojave Moth because I feel like this will match the eye look even better. I have like 
seven blushes on my desk right now. I was like going through them, deciding which one I was going to use and which one I thought would match the eye look best. But I like, I just love blush. So I switch it up, like I said, and I don't have like a favorite. So I'm just gonna tap between the two sides, the matte and shimmer side, and then lightly dust that on my cheeks. I've been trying to like have my blush go a little farther back. I heard that's flattering on your face. I don't really know. I've always just kind of gone ham with blush and just kind of been all over the place. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off this powder. The brow combination that I've recently been obsessed with and used nonstop is the Milani Weekend Brow and the ABH Clear Brow Gel. This I just love and this I'm trying to use up. So <laughs> we're just going to put some hair like strokes in the front. I can't believe how long this pen has lasted me. I've had this for months and months and months and I use it all of the time. And it hasn't like seemed to be going down at all or like being not as pigmented, like it's running out of ink. I'm like thoroughly impressed, especially considering this was like $10, it's like $9.99. And then this little guy is like the never ending brow gel. I bought a full size of it in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty because I was like, oh, this mini, I've had it forever. It's probably getting low and it is still going strong. I know I'll eventually finish it up, but man, I'm impressed. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and add a brown wing with my Benefit Roller Lash Liner. I really do like this liner. It's not as like insanely pigmented or as intense as I was really hoping when I bought it but it's like the only brown liner that I really like to use. So I'm gonna go add a wing and finish up my lower lash line just with some of the mattes that I used in my crease. And then I am going to add my current favorite number one mascara and that is my Tarte Man Eater. This has been like my number one mascara for years. It's so good. I just kind of recently reopened this. I like bought it and had it in my stash for a really long time and just was using other mascaras. So I recently reopened it the last couple of weeks and I re-remember why. Re remember? That's not right. I remember why. This is like my favorite mascara. It's so stinking good. So I'm gonna go add these off camera and I'll be back. Alrighty, next up for lips, my current favorite like combination that I cannot stop wearing is my KKW Beauty Nude One Lip Liner and then my Huda Beauty Lipstick in the shade Impress. This is her cream formula. These two together are magic. So I just line my lips. I feel them in a little bit, but not too, too much. Then I put the lipstick on. And then I'll go in with a little bit more lip liner just to try to give it a tiny bit of an ombre effect. It doesn't really have an ombre effect. It just kind of is all brown, but that's fine. In my head, it's an ombre effect. And I feel like one of those Instagram models or big YouTubers that do like the whole contour and ombre lips. Um, not really in reality it looks like that, but in my head it does. <laughs> I think in order to achieve that look, I would just need a little bit lighter of a lipstick, but that's okay. I still really, really love how this combination turns out. Lastly, for setting spray, it's another one that I just kind of really switch up my setting spray. I've been really using the Benefit Professional setting spray a ton recently, but that was because it was towards the end of the bottle and I was trying to use it up and I did, so I don't have that to use. But it just really depends on what I want. If I want like just a really refreshed looking setting spray, I'll use the Fenty What It Do Mist. If I want something dewy, I'll go in with my Catrice um, setting sprays or something like that. Or if I really need my makeup to lock in and not get oily throughout the day, I'll use Urban Decay D Slick. So. There's just like a ton of setting sprays I reach for, but the one I pulled out for this is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So I went through the mini recently and I really, really enjoyed the mini a lot. So I picked up the full size in the most recent Sephora sale and I haven't used it yet because I just finished the mini. So I just, I really like this setting spray a lot. So we're just gonna go with this one. I haven't used this one at all yet. So I'm gonna get this sprayer going, there we go. And that was it, you guys. That was a full face of my number one products in each makeup category. All of my current favorites. They're my current favorites, though. So I'm sure if I did this in a couple months, these items would be different. But as of right now, these are like my go-to items that I love when I know I need my makeup to just look bomb. 
they're the ones I'm reaching for. This is a final look for you guys. Up close and personal. I really, really like how it all turned out. I feel like I look bronzy and glowy and I love this eyeshadow look. I just love that love palette so stinking much. The lips are nice and nude and I'm just here for it. I'm here for this look. If you made it into this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.